What's happening now across the Niagara frontier? News stories, old stories, stuff you know about and stuff you'd never believe. It's the Niagara Hub Soapbox with Craig Avery. All right, well, hi. We want to welcome uh, two ladies from the College Simulation Experience, which was started by you, April. April Baskin is here, and as well as Krista Ihas. And um, got a kind of a neat little uh, opportunity for college-bound students in the area to uh, kind of get an idea of, of what they're going to experience and uh, how'd you come up with this and how does it work and start with us. What's going on, April? Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Um, the College Simulation is a, um, it's an education initiative that's focused on college retention and we use an interactive dramatic role play to keep kids engaged in understanding the soft skill development that's associated with college success. So we have guidance counselors and academic programs that really uh, prepare students for getting into college. They'll prepare them with their ACTs, their SATs, they'll help them fill out their financial aid forms, they'll help them write essays to get into the admissions process of college. But then there's this whole capacity of surviving in college that we don't ever have a dialogue with young people about. And they get there and they're inundated with all of these new things that they have to deal with. Um, managing their money, managing their time, stress, being away from home. Um, it's a lot and kids encounter that and a lot of them statistics show drop out. Um, I specifically have a burden for students that come from low-income backgrounds that are afforded grant opportunities through financial aid to go to school for free and still are not taking advantage of it because they don't have the mentality to manage themselves while they're there. The so life skills. The life the... skills, right. So that's what this program is about. We kind of introduce kids to what college life is like, mm. but we use dramatic role play, games, and, you know, inter interactive conversations cool. with them. Mm -hmm. So this was your brainchild. Yeah. And how did you hook <laughs> up into this center? Uh, we met through our mutual friend, Monica, who went to high school with. April, um, but April really brought me on board to be sort of the community liaison for Niagara Falls um, because this is the first event that's happened in the falls, or I think in Niagara County in general. In general, yeah. Um, in Niagara County at all. So she didn't know the community that well going into it. Now I think she, she does, or she has gotten to know them, but um, we were kind of helping her get her foot in to, to Niagara Falls into the city. So your foot's in here. It's already what in Buffalo? Is that what you're saying? So you've done this yeah. in Buffalo or Erie County before? Yes, for a year and a half. And your response and your success rates and what? what uh... Just so, I mean, people just are receiving it so well. It's needed. You know, it's a product that's needed. Kids are going to school and they're not prepared to survive while they're there. So we celebrate kids getting acceptance letters and getting scholarships and then we ship them off and things happen. Um, like I said, things from just not knowing how to manage a job to kids not even knowing how to grocery shop and nourish themselves while they're at school. We have um, more serious crisis-based situations. Um, some students deal with um, pregnancy, unexpected pregnancy, um, peer pressure from um, meeting new groups of social circles. So we just wanna make sure that the kids are um, prepared to be on their own and they know what's coming their way so that when they encounter these things because they will they have the skill set to uh, surpass any trials that may come their way so then how does this happen I'm a, I'm a senior in high school and I and I saw this thing on Niagara Hub because everybody watches Niagara Hub right. and I say <laughs> what do they do so I show up at your doorstep and say so, Put me through this experience. <laughs> what is it? We go to uh, high schools and, or colleges that service high schools, um, so a lot of college prep programs. And we work with large bodies of students who are college bound. They get a false identity, and in three hours, they have a list of tasks to do. And these tasks repeat themselves over the four rounds, and four rounds represent four years of undergraduate study. This is on the computer. They're it is not on. A, a, it is not on a computer yet. It will be on a computer okay. soon. We are working towards that. But right now, 
that's what I mean by role play. They interact with volunteers who play roles as deans, um, laundromat clerks, um, bankers, um, hustlers on the street, <laughs> um, uh, everything that a student would encounter when they leave the nest and have to go into the real world. And then they have these tasks to complete, but they complete these tasks through dealing with the actors who are playing the role. So you could be a banker and I could be at the bank of Niagara Falls and I could be here to you know, cash a check. And then there's this dialogue that happens with the student where they're starting to understand all of the responsibilities associated with cashing a check. They don't have your ID. Right. You know, all of that happens. And so now the kids are learning not from an aspect of just being spoken to, but they're actually experiencing it. So that's why we're the college simulation experience. And are people watching this also, or is this like a private soundproof booth that they're in? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an somewhere. intimate setting because it does get very emotional for students. So it's not something where it happens in front of a live audience, but um, in front of each other, there are breaks in between the rounds where the students kind of come together and process the previous round, their emotions, how they felt. And we address the stress, the frustration, feeling overwhelmed. We do it with them now. And we say, you know, be prepared because these are emotions that will happen. But this is how you handle it. Um, it is cute to watch kids, they get a check and then they go to the uh, student accounts to pay their tuition and they hand the person a check. And they're like, this check is made out to you. You know, and they say, well, what am I supposed to do? And we say, you gotta cash the check. And it's like, the kids don't know that stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's a learning experience. Very cool. And there's a fee for this? There is a fee, um, a small fee for uh, schools, just operating costs for us to be able to go. It's um, it's like bringing a dinner theater experience. So there are actors we have to bring. A lot of times the client will provide the actors we call co-facilitators, their props, their light costumes. Sure. So the fee is just associated with getting us there, but we are, uh, we're all about um, being a community service. And so we are now operating under a not-for-profit in the city of Buffalo with um, the intent in the next couple of months to become our own not-for-profit so that we can receive grant funding to be able to operate successfully and service more kids throughout the region. Wow. But with the Niagara Falls event, um, all the students have been sponsored by local businesses. So there's no fee for students. There's only fee for people who Wow. So look, you, you, we'll talk about this event in a second. But the, the, the event that we are doing, we're going to be, you've already got money from mm -hmm. local businesses. You don't have to. Each kid doesn't have to go out and find a sponsor and wear his no. name on their coat or anything. No, just, no. We could use a couple more because I think as of yesterday we have 119 registrants. The event is, we got 119 juniors, seniors, and recent graduates signed up. And I think we are at a point where we're covering about 85 of them. So if more people would like to sponsor, we, we, we want all the kids to be able to come. But um, no, the goal in this bringing this to the city of Niagara Falls, considering the college retention rates here being very low, drastically low, um, the first thing that we decided was we did not want students to be burdened with the cost to receive the service. It's a need, so we knocked doors. Um, we reached out to Councilman Ezra Scott first, and he opened up um, his connections in the city and knocked doors with us. And through that, everybody from local businesses, um, corporations here, in Niagara Falls and just individual residents have just given the money to allow up until this point 85 students to go. Wow, great. And you have those students? You have yeah. more than that. We have 119 signed up. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's excellent. This event is going to take place? August 13th at the Doris Jones Center from 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Yes. Wow, full day. Full yeah. day. Very but fun. And it's going to go by fast. All right, so if I wanted to get my daughter involved or my neighbor kid, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Come on up at 7.30 in the morning and come to a college simulation. I'll just go to college, Dad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, what are the incentives? What, what, uh, what things can I bring up to tell them? Come here. This is going to be cool. Well, first thing, 7.30 in the morning is a free breakfast provided by Dirty Bird Food Truck, which is Ooh, amazing go. food. So <laughs> if you're going to get free... Dirty Bird food truck. I feel like that's 
a strong this is incentive. Kind of, at least for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the simulation is actually really fun in itself. It's very interactive, I believe we were talking about. So you're up and you're doing something, you're not just being lectured at. Um, we also have lunch and snacks provided, and throughout the day, we're giving out a lot of prizes. I think we have a shopping spree, a few other things, and at the end of the day, we have a big scholarship giveaway. Right. So um, the Buffalo Bills have provided a, a slew of different prizes from tickets to the game all the way down to like a group excursion behind the scenes, meeting the players and getting a tour of their facility. Um, the Sabres have also provided um, tickets. Then um, we have a bunch of other things in there like movie passes and these things will just be going on throughout the day for the kids that are there having a good time and engaged. Um, a shopping spree will be provided um, as a giveaway from the outlet mall. And then, yeah, the, I think the big shebang is the Education Foundation, the Niagara Falls Education Foundation, um, was kind enough to um, donate two $1,000 scholarships. So one student who is in, in attendance that day and that takes part in the essay writing contest um, that happens throughout that day will be, uh, two of them will be selected to receive $1,000 that uh, will be applied to their college account. Wow, mm -hmm. based on their essay. Yeah. That's basically yeah. Going to be an essay mm -hmm. contest. Yeah, it's going to be a short essay contest, nothing long. And, um, and everybody else, obviously a lot of people have, have embraced this program. I saw when you presented at the NAC that night, a lot of people were coming to you saying, how can I help? Right. Uh, who, and you've got a bunch of people that, that, that have gotten involved with you locally here. A lot of people. Um, I think I remember telling um, Niagara Gazette when I spoke to them a, a couple of weeks ago that the city of Niagara Falls brought this event here and made this possible. It's all of those residents, all of those small businesses, all of the corporations that have given money to sponsor the kids to go. That's why it's happening. So just thank you to the city of Niagara Falls for being so welcoming of our program. Um, and then, yes, yeah, specifically, um, like I said, the Education Foundation for um, that generous sponsorship that is what this program is about, helping kids um, feel at ease when they're getting acclimated to college life and college, a lot of college dress is associated with finances. Um, the Niagara Falls Housing Authority for um, being so generous and supportive and helpful with the event and of course Councilman Ezra Scott for um, believing in the vision and bringing it to a city. And so if there's a hundred kids in this thing, is there a room? Do they all have individual attention? Are they doing it as a group? You have a hundred actors to talk to them? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not exactly a hundred actors, but there's plenty of space. They'll be in the gym for the simulation. And then afterwards, actually, um, April was speaking to kind of the stress and the, the emotional turmoil they go through. They're a little bit overwhelmed with this um, simulation. So afterwards, what we have planned is a series of follow-up workshops and panels. Um, and so they'll be split into groups for those, just like a regular college class. They'll come in during the morning and get their class schedule. Um, and then they'll go off to their classes after the simulation and have workshops based on the different things they experience in the simulation that stress them out. They stress them out, yeah. So they, they get a debriefer with professionals to talk about the specific topics. There's also a college fair during the lunch, which was provided by Tops Friendly Markets um, as a donation. Um, so we have some local colleges from Western New York that will be present their admissions office offices to answer questions that the kids may have. I think the simulation is going to open their minds up to things that they didn't know before or questions they didn't know they should be asking. So having the follow-up panelist workshops and the college fair will further give them the comfort of knowing that all of this is being addressed and that they're going to be okay and that they can push through college. And you're expecting a hundred kids in the middle of the summer to show up at 7.30 in the morning. Yes, we're excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, one day they can get up early, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. And, and how many students would you estimate you've already provided for in, since you started? How many, how many students have been through your program? Um, 1,250. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's excellent. And we, our goal is 1,700 by the end of this year. How do people find out more? 
Our website, www.collegesimulation.com. We're on Facebook, Facebook backslash College Simulation. Um, you can give us a call at our offices, 716-281-0026. Okay, and we'll put all that on the screen. And are there other ones like this? Is this, a, a, this is something all over the country, or this is just your baby, or what? Yeah, this is our baby, <laughs> our yeah. team, yeah, in it. That's what makes it so special. Um, we started it. It belongs to Western New York. And, you know, I think we have a product where we, as a community, our region, can um, perfect this product and, and take it all over the country and all over the world. So we got to work together to make that happen, though, all of us. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm going to be there that day, and we're going to kind of film, and we'll have a follow-up with, with links to a, maybe an edited version of what happens during that day. It'd be kind of, kind of neat. I'm anxious to see it. I'd like to get my daughter to show up, but I don't know. It's 7.30 in the morning. That is it. So, um, great. Anything else that, you, that we missed that you needed to point out? No, we're grateful to the Housing Authority and Councilman Scott for supporting this initiative. Um, like I said, the retention rates here are 86% of residents age 25 and older in the city of Niagara Falls have high school diplomas, but of that only 16% have bachelor's degrees. So we want to increase that number so that as this beautiful renaissance that's happening in Western New York grows, our young people are equipped educationally to take advantage of those jobs and you know lead the city into a new direction. So um, it took a lot to be able to come out of the city of Buffalo and into a new city. But so there's a huge thank you to the Housing Authority and um, Councilman Scott for their support. Great. Well, you did a great job explaining something that would have been so foreign to me. So uh. you, made it, you made it very, uh, very clear. And I'm looking forward to uh, August 13th. Thank you. Be there and watch this. This is cool. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. Great. Thank well, you. Great to see you. <laughs>